Ruti Customs again with another tool modification and review. Um, this is the Harbor Freight planishing hammer. And then on the side, that's the Grizzly Mini English Wheel that I already have another video on my channel about after I got it. Um, I've had it two years now and a little over a year year and a half had to look back but uh, I've added it onto this one unit um, that's a stand that is made out of angle iron I bought used um, for like 25 bucks and basically what I did is oh, I painted the English wheel that is the same English wheel um, that is green when you get it but I decided I didn't like the green so I took it all apart and painted it. I made those brackets. So if you look, there's brackets there and there's brackets there. And what I did is I drilled out this area right here and there's a piece of tubing inside so it doesn't crush. This is pretty thin walled stuff. So I didn't want that to crush. So there's a piece of tubing sitting inside there that sandwiches that together. And then what I did here is that this is just a plate, a diamond plate, 3 sixteenths I think it is. And it's just to help with that, uh, the flexing of it. And the only mods that I've done to the English, or to the planishing hammer is I made this little die holder down here that hooks to there. And it kind of holds them, you know, nice and... And then there's the foot pedal that's on a hook, so that's up out of the way. So uh, I did this. Um, basically, I did. I had two stands, and I wanted to put one on stand. I had them both in vice mounts, and the vice moved, and everything else. Uh, this doesn't move anymore. Um, very occasionally, it it you know I'll have to throw a bag of big bag of sand on the bottom if I'm doing some big stuff but most of the time the weight of the tools and the weight of the table hold everything steady and nice um, I wheel it with the hand truck out and use it and then put it back against the wall so I'm in a kind of a smaller shop so I have to use what I got uh, the English wheel has worked good after I modified it if you want to see what I did to modify it to make the wheels run straight uh, watch the other video um, I <sighs> I'd have to say that it's a great machine for smaller projects. The wheels are so small, you just have to wheel. I mean, I've used other English wheels with the full-size wheels on them, and it just seems to go quicker. This just takes a little bit longer. It does get done, but I wouldn't suggest trying to wheel a, an entire big fender off an older Ford or Chevy pickup car from, like, the 20s. I've had some questions if they could do that, and I... No, I wouldn't. Um, if I have that kind of project come into the shop, what I do is I go over and I borrow my buddy's bigger wheel. Um, eventually, I'll definitely upgrade. I know the Eastwood um, benchtop English wheel is just about the same size as the planishing hammer there. So, and it will fit on my little table. So, I'm, I'm probably looking into getting that. Um, the dies are good. I did polish them. Um, followed some directions off the YouTube channel, Eastwood's YouTube channel, and I learned how to polish the dies really good. So, works great for pre-stretching before you roll beads in floor pans. That's mainly what I use it for. Um, pre-stretching metal to get the curve out of it to when you lay the bead, the panel lays flat. So, um, great tool. Easily modified. Easily, a lot cheaper. I mean... Planishing hammer is like 129, I think, or 140, right around in there. The English wheel was 120 bucks, 100, 110, 120. I don't remember. And the stand I paid 30. So I mean, that's a nice little work area for a small investment, and it gets the stuff done. I can't say nothing bad about the planishing hammer from the Harbor Freight. It's great. Uh, make sure you lube your gun. Uh, I did, and I burned up a gun, my own fault, so I replaced it with another planishing hammer gun up there, but um, another air gun, 
but that's the only thing that's gone bad on mine. Oh, and fill them with sand. There's a port right up here on the top. Right there. Take that off, fill this area, lay it, and then lay it back around, fill the bottom area. Um, it really does make a difference on it not flexing. Uh, mine flexed a lot, and I did that, and then it works way better now. So, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.